just two and a half seconds of distraction can become dangerous on the road. One Silicon Valley company says it has the solution, a way to be an extra eye for a driver by using cameras, sensors, image recognition software, and real-time alerts. Distracted. So we'll alert the driver that he or she is distracted. Then the driver is able to look up, maybe notice that traffic has stopped in front of them, slam on the brakes, and avoid that very common rear-end crash. Nauto's device sits behind a vehicle's rear view mirror and comes with cameras and other sensors. So you can see here there's an interior camera that faces the driver and then an exterior camera that faces the road ahead. And we're running algorithms to detect high-risk behaviors. That behavior could be falling asleep behind the wheel, tailgating, or checking a cell phone. It'll issue a series of progressive alerts based on how distracted they are. Down. So that's the first one. Distracted. And there's a second one. Nauto's device is in more than 200 fleets of trucks, taxis, and ride-sharing services. But what about driver privacy? Nauto says the device only reports to headquarters if something happens, like a crash. It's not a surveillance device, right? A fleet manager can't log into our system and just stare at a driver, right, and watch them for eight hours of their driving day. So if the driver is driving well and there's no events, then there's nothing that gets re uploaded and reported in the system. Nauto is collecting a lot of data about human driving patterns, which it sells to autonomous vehicle companies. So the drivers of today are teaching the self-driving cars of the future. Distracted. Michelle Quinn, VOA News, Palo Alto, California. is a novice when it comes to cooking, so she does what many do to improve their culinary skills. Watch online videos, but things tend to get messy. It was annoying to touching my iPad frequently with my greasy hand. O came up with a hands-free solution she calls the recipe controller. It's a smart apron prototype that lets users navigate online videos without touching them. And you can use this apron like um, remote controller to control your video contents while cooking. The apron uses an Arduino microcontroller, a single-chip computer that has Bluetooth connectivity. Everything is connected, even the apron's print. This is, looks like uh, just normal print, but actually this is a uh, conductive fabric, so uh, I can program, I program it. The apron relies on soft circuitry, the use of alternative materials to create electrical circuits instead of traditional methods like wiring and soldering making them easier to integrate into fabrics and wearables. Sewing the print to the metal slab with the conductive thread, so it's connected each metal slab with um, each print. Each print is programmed with a different function, and tapping them will pause and play videos or rewind and forward them. Need to raise the volume? Simply slide this pole left or right. The rope that it hangs on is conductive. O considered incorporating spoken commands, but the technology turns out to be less helpful in the kitchen. Hey Alexa, Siri, pause the video is relatively long, but tapping is more simple. For O, the best creations are equal parts design and tech. The electronic module detaches so that the apron can be thrown in the wash. I want it, my apron looks like just normal apron. It's a recipe with delicious results. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.